Public Relations Director for ISC West, and we're here interviewing a bunch of manufacturers about their new products to the show, and we're happy to have Mike Ventoli here. Mike's going to talk about his emergency management system, and we're happy to have you here, Mike, and um, how's the show going for you thus far? Um, show's excellent. Um, you know, I, I can't say enough about the, the people here at ISC and, and how organized they are. It's, it's fantastic. Um, we're having a great turnout, uh, a lot of interested folks coming through the booth and uh, we have a fully educated staff and they're taking care of them. Great, so you're with Edwards and um, we're going to be talking about your Vigilant product today. Uh, but before we do, let's talk a little bit about Edwards. Tell us about the company and its existence and how long it's been in business. So, uh, interesting story there. Uh, Edwards, founded in 1872, um, you know, this is an organization that started with an individual by the name of Robert Edwards who installed an electric gas lamp igniter in a church in New York City. Um, Edwards was the first company to patent the electric bell. And, and many people don't know, but the bells on the New York Stock Exchange, those are Edwards bells. They've been running for over 100 years. And, uh, um, and they're the original bells. And, and we're very proud of that. You know? And Edwards has always been innovative in this industry. Um, we're d we've d introduced some new innovations today. And uh, Edwards has gone through a series of, of buyouts over the years, uh, most recently to our parent company, UTC Fire and Security. Great organization, you know, many people will know UTC through uh, names like Carrier and uh, Sikorsky Helicopter, um, uh, Otis Elevator. Um, now they have Fire and Security, which Edwards is part of. Under the Edwards company, which is the UTC Fire and Security owned, we have four brands. We have the Vigilant brand, which we're presenting here. We have the EST brand. We have Duquesne, which is our communications package. And we have signaling products, industrial signaling products. Okay, so Vigilant is uh, emergency communications. And I think you know, we all have, have seen, obviously, in the news that you know, with, with tragedies that have beheld uh, or befallen universities, that emergency communications is, is a vital part of either um, you know, mitigating a risk or eliminating a risk. Tell us how Vigilant does that. Um, well, you know, to, 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 to at least quantify what you just said, um, you know, risks are not just from people. You know, there's, there's weather threats, there's natural disasters. Um, you know, we hear all too often in news about what happens on a college university, but there's also industrial risks. You know, all of these pose extreme hazards to, you know, the, the, the employees, the folks working at those facilities, or even the general population around those facilities. So it's become much more pre prevalent and um, has been legislated where facilities, such as college campuses, would require some means of communicating to the masses. What's going on, right? It's, it's great to tell people to run to the hills, but you better tell them what hills to run to. You know, that's important. So the systems that we've developed at Edwards, we have put together technologies that really deliver a solution, a single solution. It's not a piecemeal solution. And those technologies are tested and approved at the highest level. So UL 2572 requires systems, which we call mass notifications, to be, um, to comply with e extreme uh, requirements, in lack of better words. So, uh, the, you know, the Vigilant product, uh, which we call the VM series control platform, um, is 2572 listed. Also UL864 listed for fire detection. And that enables a distinct advantage in delivering the product to your marketplace or to the dealers and integrators who are looking for that solution for their customers? It, it does, it does. Because um, not only can they meet say a building owner's immediate needs from a fire code standpoint, they could provide a system that has scalability. So should an end user or an owner find themselves in a situation where they may want to protect their college campus or their healthcare campus or their industrial uh, facility, they have a system that is approved. And that gives them confidence in purchasing the system. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So the, the trends then that you're seeing uh, are based on what your customers or your customers' customers are telling you. What are you seeing in the marketplace? What are the trends that are out there? 
Well, it, it, the, the biggest trend uh, right now is that emergency communication space. Um, you know, with the downturn of the economy, uh, new construction has certainly fallen off. So uh, buildings requiring new fire alarm systems certainly aren't as prevalent as they were, you know, before 2008. Um, but risks have increased, right? I mean, there, there's more and more incidences reported of catastrophes happening at, at universities and so forth. So, so one of the trends is to be able to provide owners um, a strategy, a migration path to improve their systems in place and help them mitigate risks that you know, may occur. You know, whether it uh, be from weather conditions or chemical spills or you know, some disgruntled employee. Which workplace violence is something that all those end user customers are most concerned about. Um, so mass, communi mass communication systems are important, uh, not only, as you say, for, for catastrophes, but for, for employee related issues. Um, and so the product itself, and tell me the features and benefits, some of the, the d distinct features um, that, that the product brings to the marketplace. So as I mentioned earlier, Edwards is an innovator. Um, in this current product, the VM series control platform, uh, we have a patented technology called Voltage Boost. Um, in our industry, engineers, designers are challenged with what's called voltage drop or line loss when they're trying to power notification appliances in a facility. Large facility like this, you could have literally thousands of those strobes that flash on the wall, right, notifying people. Well, as you uh, run those wires through the conduits, there's a thing called line loss. And it makes it challenging. You have to put extra hardware in to compensate for those losses. Well, our voltage boost technology takes that out of the equation. It actually increases the voltage on the lines at the terminal so they never drop below a specific point, which is 22 and a half volts. Literally, this check not technology allows an installer or an engineer to go 40% longer on the same circuits that they were previously. That's a huge cost savings. Yeah. Um, you know, some other benefits that we've added to this product is the ability to do remote diagnostics via the internet, ethernet. You could connect it on a LAN WAN and pull up diagnostic reports of actually what's happening. Um, you know, similar to you know, folks that have OnStar out there, but, you know, this might be a, a, a good example that they can go online and look at their car and see what the air pressure is in the tires. Um, same thing, right? Now, you're not going to have a website for the panel, but you're going to have a utility that they can run on their laptop, and the service personnel who are trained to use this uh, technology could go in and diagnose problems for a building owner. You know, they don't have to be on site. But it might be excellent for a multiple build a multiple building owner to, to sort of have that that thirty thousand foot view of how the every building is doing. Absolutely. If he has multiple systems installed all over the globe and he wants to monitor and, and run diagnostics on a monthly basis, that could happen. So the primary target is your dealer and your integrator. But I would imagine that their end user customers are, are telling them what they want in a system. And you've obviously done that to enable the technology that you're offering to the marketplace. Mm -hmm. um, but is that, you know, the, the feedback that you get from your dealer and integrators, um, are, are, you know, is that taken into account when you're developing product? And, and how often do you get that kind yeah. of uh, so, feedback? So you're yeah. looking at voice of the customer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah a absolutely. We, uh, We'd like to hear the feedback from our customers. Um, not always good, you know. Um, they have great ideas, and, and that's where we get some of the best inspiration for us to go forward and develop new technologies. A, a, a big sticking point is cost of ownership on technology. They don't want to be replacing the systems, you know, every five, ten years, right? They they want a low cost of ownership. These are not inexpensive systems. So the things that we've developed uh, in this product specifically, we build about 10 years out. So in this one product, we have what's called a cold fire CPU. It's a quad core 256 megahertz CPU 
it is probably 15 to 17 times faster than any CPU running into these control platforms currently. But why do we do that? So we could enhance the product down the road, right? Five, six years, two years from now, and we, we, we have new technology show up. We want to have the horsepower under the hood so these systems could carry it. Um, the cost of ownership is reduce, reduced by a number of uh, items. We have replaceable components, very inexpensive components inside our smoke detectors that the end user could service themselves. Right? They don't have to replace an expensive electronic board. They're just cha changing out a, a piece of plastic, if you will. That reduces the cost of ownership, as well as the diagnostic reports. Right? They know the system's in compliance because they can run these reports. They don't have to worry about other human intervention to uh, go in and do physical testing inside the facility because the, the control equipment is doing it. And that reduces their costs. Yeah, absolutely. Which is a big, big yeah, thing these it, days. It is, yeah, it is, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and things have changed so dramatically since the recession that that is probably one of the, one of the bigger features and benefits of the system. It is. Yeah. yeah.